As part of this sectional module, we are going to the details related to performance tuning of SQL queries. After going to the details about how to generate explained plans, also how to interpret the explained plans. In the previous lecture, we have gone to the details about the most common scenario when it comes to retail platform. It is nothing but to review the orders for a given customer. Now let's review our tables and see what are the tables we need to rely on to get details about the logged in customer. Let's go here. Let's expand this. Already we have gone through details with respect to orders and order items. You can see orders table here, also order items table here. On top of these two, we also have customers. In case if you wanted to get the customer details such as the name, etc., then we have to fall back onto the customers table. You can see customers have these columns, customer ID, first name, last name, email, password, etc. Also, when it comes to relationship between orders and customers, customers is parent table, orders is the child table because one customer can place as many orders as he want in his lifetime. For that reason, there is one too many relationship between between customers and orders. Now, many times we wanted to see the orders placed by a given customer. First, let's review the data in customers table, then we'll take it further. So in this case, I'm saying select star from customers, limit 10. Let me run this. Let's pick customer ID 5. Now let me say select star from orders, where customer id equal to 5 in orders it is order underscore customer id not customer id now let me select this and run this yes per the data we have this customer have placed four orders you can see the details about all the four orders here now if you click on this to see the explain plan it is actually performing sequence scan on orders it means it is scanning the entire table to filter for those four records now you might want to see the item level details also you will not only see the order details such as date, status, you also might want to see the item level details. If you want to see the item level details, then you have to perform the join between orders and order items. So in this case, the query can be like this. Select star from orders, let me say as O, then join order underscore items as OI on O dot order underscore ID equal to OI dot order underscore item underscore order underscore id also i would like to see both order details as well as order item details let me also say o dot order customer id here now let me run this this time i'll be able to see the item level details also total we got seven records now if i click on this to go to the explain plan now you see when it comes to orders it is performing sequence scan then uh, it is doing some hash here. Then it is performing sequence scan on order items. Then it is performing hash inner join between the filtered orders data and unfiltered order items data. If you review the numbers here, when it comes to this step, after performing the full table scan, it have fetched the data related to order customer ID 5. It have four records. After getting these four records, it have scanned the order items completely. It have got all 172,198 records. Then using these four records and 172,198 records, it have performed something called as hash inner join to get the final result. Don't worry too much about hash inner join, hash, etc at this juncture focus on sequence scan sequence scan means full table scan it is actually performing full table scan on both orders and order items which is not good now let's understand how much time it is taking to execute this one query let me click on execute or refresh here you see it have taken uh, this much of time it have taken some time it is fast you might feel it is fast enough but it is not fast enough as an experienced engineer, I know the issue by looking at the explain plan itself. But most of the engineers who doesn't have performance tuning experience, they might feel the query is executing faster. To gain the experience whether the query is actually running faster or not, it is better to run similar queries multiple times. We'll actually go through the details about how to experience whether it is fast or not by coming up with PostgreSQL PLSQL script. I will cover those details of experiencing the performance bottleneck in the next lecture but looking at the explain plan i have identified quite a few performance bottlenecks but first let's experience and then we'll take it further keep in mind that whatever query we are seeing you can visualize from the amazon perspective as well even though we do not have access to amazon database whatever you are seeing here is provided to you by running 
similar kind of queries under the hood. If you are able to identify the performance bottlenecks in these queries and come up with the solutions, you will be able to solve problems even for the platforms like Amazon. Even though I am demonstrating using retail platform as an example, if you go to any of the standard website where you perform transactions, you will have similar features. You can visualize how the queries actually run under the hood and then you can think about how you can tune the performance in case if you are the developer for that application. That being said, as part of next lecture, let's go to the details about running the same query for multiple customer IDs and see how long it will take.